16 Surprising Ways to Cut Your Expenses and Live Frugally 1. Forget the name brand items. Generic items are cheaper and can save you money when buying products. Most of them have the same quality as popular name brand products. They are also made of the same materials and ingredients as branded products. Generic versions of different staple items can also save you money. When you go shopping, look for store brand items instead of name brand products. Milk and juices, cooking oils, sugar, flour, and spices are examples of staples you can buy as generic items to save money and cut grocery expenses. No-name fruits versus name brand fruits are also cheaper and yet they taste the same. The same goes with beans and rice. Buy generic rice and beans instead of name brand items. They taste like, you guessed it, rice and beans, but without spending too much on them. 2. Go green. Cutting your spending on home utility expenses is one of the easiest ways to save money on fixed monthly expenses. Go green and make energy-efficient choices like switching to the use of LED and buying energy-saving appliances with high Energy Star rating. While these can cost higher upfront than outdated technology appliances, they can save you money in the long run because they pay off in aspects like lowering your electric bill. You can also buy a programmable thermostat too. To dry your clothes, hang them outside and under the sun to cut electricity costs on washing machines. Making green changes in your life adds more dollars to your wallet. 3. Use less water. Your water bill is a fixed monthly spending you can have a control on. Use less water to cut home expenses. Lower your bill by taking shorter showers, checking your toilet for leaks, and installing water-saving shower heads. Use a bucket or pail when washing your car instead of letting the water run. The same goes when brushing your teeth. Use a glass instead of allowing the water to run while brushing your teeth. Turn the water off while shaving. In short, turn off tap water when doing everyday activities like shampooing your hair too. These small changes can make a huge difference in your life. 4. Learn how to make stuff. Avoid buying things that you can make yourself. The internet is filled with useful tutorials on how to make a lot of things like household cleaners, laundry detergents, face scrubs, and whatnot. Learning how to make things yourself will save you more money in the end. This also makes you more resourceful and it can stimulate your brain to be more creative. 5. Reuse. This is a practical way to cut your home expenses. Stop buying single-use paper towels, water bottles, and sandwich bags. Choose reusable items that you can wash and reuse. Use hand towels instead of paper towels for cleaning up. Organize your cables with plastic straws. Use bottles and jerry cans as storage items. Use your old shopping bags for gift wrapping. Make new bar soaps from soap slivers. This will save you trips to the dumpster and to the store. Applying these small changes will add up and grow your savings over time. 6. Plan your meals. Food is an expense that takes a huge portion of your monthly budget. Start cutting food costs by meal planning. Create a menu and plan the recipes you want to make for the week. List the items you need to buy from the grocery store. This will help minimize any spending on convenience meals and fast food whether at home or in the office. Plan around in-season produce. Make a menu of recipes which ingredients are in season because they are cheaper than those that are not. Add a meatless meal in your plan. It can be a meal with eggs, tofu, or legumes like dried peas, lentils, or beans. Check your pantry and fridge for food items you need to use up and look for recipes that call for them. 7. Use leftovers. Make your food budget go further and use less fuel by using leftovers. This will also save you money from making unexpected trips to the restaurant or groceries. It will also require less food because there will be less to go uneaten and thrown in the trash. Using leftovers can also help reduce greenhouse gas emissions while using valuable food resources. This might be a small act, but it can make a huge impact towards sustainable living. Planning for leftovers also means one less meal you need to cook and fewer groceries to buy. Cutting grocery bills also means some money to go for other things like enjoying a family date. Do you have roast chicken leftover from the other night? Turn it into chicken sandwiches for today's lunch. 8. Bring home cooked meals to the office. Stop eating out for lunch and see how your savings will add up. Don't give your money to the vending machine, either. Meal planning goes beyond saving money. This same benefit applies to brown bagging your lunch on most days. It doesn't only cut spending on food. 
Bringing lunch to work means you don't need to beat the rush or fall in line in the office cafeteria. You don't also have to hurry back to your desk to eat lunch. Instead, you can reclaim your time and simply toast your leftovers chicken sandwich in the pantry while your colleagues are getting their food outside. 9. Order groceries online. Safely and wisely get groceries by ordering them online. This can save you not only money but also time and effort. You'll save your time to do other things other than rushing to the store to buy your supplies. Grocery shopping online also lets you enjoy a convenient shopping experience while reducing any temptation for impulse buying. It also helps you stay on budget by using electronic coupons and being able to find lower priced items. You'll also know your running total before checking out. This also allows you to know the products in stock as well as any substitutes when you need to. Ultimately, you also get to choose how to receive your groceries, either home delivery or store pickup. 10. Brugger Coffee Coffee has a special place in your heart, but you don't have to drop by the coffee shop to get your daily dose of it. Spending on coffee can easily add up to a huge spending in a short time period, not to mention that the prices of coffee have increased dramatically with inflation rates going higher by the day. Brew your coffee at home and reap the rewards. You avoid the lines or you don't need to beat the crowd every morning. Thus, you also don't need to leave home earlier. Brewing your coffee from home also prevents beating the clock to work. 11. Cut rarely used subscriptions. Cut expenses and live frugally by cutting rarely used subscriptions and memberships. You probably might not be noticing it, but you got a few apps in the same category like movie streaming. Check them and cut those you rarely or never used at all. This also applies to newspaper subscriptions and magazine subscriptions. If you can just read your news and stuff online from free resources, you might as well consider cutting your monthly or yearly subscriptions on reading materials. 12. Enjoy the outdoors for entertainment. Get yourself outside for fun, but try activities that don't cost a penny. This will significantly save money in entertainment. Expenses in movie theaters and dining out can be really expensive. Explore the world out there and enjoy the outdoors. Hike, run, stargaze, or visit the local park. 13. Have a date night at home. Once in a while, you and your partner could be planning a date, but it can be costly to eat out or watch the movies. To save money, plan a date night at home. Cook food, stream your favorite shows, and enjoy each other's company at the comforts of your home. 14. Uninstall shopping apps. If you tend to impulse buy whenever you feel bored or stressed, it may be time to remove your shopping apps and save money. This can remove the barrier between mindless online shopping and you. Doing this will save you money in the end because you can avoid the temptation of buying items that you don't really need. 15. Free spending. Challenge yourself further and cut spending on non-essentials totally. You can do it for a month and see how much you're saving. Doing this will also help you build the habit of mindful shopping and spending. You'll also be aware of your spending tendencies and avoid buying stuff you can live without. Try it and you will thank yourself later. 16. Buy secondhand items. If you're buying clothes, shoes, or books, consider buying slightly used and good condition items instead of a new one to save money. You'll be surprised that you might be able to get branded and designer items for cheap. So if you're thinking of updating your wardrobe or buying stuff for your home, you can check out cheaper priced secondhand items in garage sales, yard sales, and thrift stores.